Hey, what is up everybody? This is No One Shaw, and we're coming at you with yet another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, the lockboxes came out of the game, and this is kind of going to be a doozy when it comes down to it. I don't know really explain it. I gotta be more tactful with my words because I just want to cuss right now, but I can't. If you guys want to see me cuss and act a fool, remember to follow my Twitch. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, that subscribe, that bell notification down below, remember below that, hit the see more button, come join my Discord. Under that, it's going to be a few donation links via PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Then we have an Etsy if you want to share my stickers, don't forget to follow on Twitch like I said. And if you want to come help the channel out monthly, there is a button down below. Hit join, become a member for either 2, 5, 10, or 20 bucks a month, it would help out the channel greatly. But now we're going to get into the heart of the video, the juicy part of the video, the, well... The part that people don't understand or are upset about because it costs more money. And let's go into it. Let's go into our station and take a look at a building. Even though we can see it right here, if we click here and boom, it's right there. I saw it this morning. I'm like, what is this ugly button? And why is it here? It should have been here. Like, it should have been here. Like, up here. Not down here. Hidden away. So, let's go take a look at our treasury. And look at the treasury itself. So now we're in the treasury. Now I finally see it. And it's a seven day event. Gotta move my big head out of the way so you guys can see it. Because this part of the video is going to require me to show you this part. So on this bottom left side. Right here. As you see it says six days to 20 hours. Normally these events last you 14 days. But it was cut in half because the current event is going. So I'm assuming this is going to be 14 day, 1400 versus 700. As you see there I have 96 points. That is because... I'll explain it before I even get into it. It says destroy hostiles, so you can either destroy 700 hostiles in one day and be able to unlock it if you're that kind of overachiever like Soggy. Um, if not, you can do a complete daily milestone. So if you do your daily milestone for your dailies, so you finish all your dailies, you get 100 points. So you do seven days worth of them and you get to be able to have a chance to unlock this. Issue is to unlock it, I'll show you right now. Let's go to my desktop. It costs a hundred dollars to get the desealing rod. So a hundred dollars to be able to unlock a thing that you are earning in the game. To have a chance of unlocking something you're earning in the game. So you get to spend a hundred bucks to be able to unlock it. That video that picture is set to by Soggy and Ops 53 player, and we'll look at his lockbox after this. So as you see there, I get 3.8 billion. So I get about 7.6 billion worth of dill. I get the normal amount of resources. I get just the normal amount of stuff. And then let's go take a look at Soggy's video. Because his video, he's kind of getting screwed at a 53 player for this pack. So, oops, let me pause it. Let me go to the desktop. So he's up 53 player. And as you see right there, he's only in 2 billion and Dill. He's getting screwed as an Ops 53 player. But as you see, he has G5 commons, G4 or epics, G3 rares, G4 or G or G4, I mean rares. Yeah. G4 rares, G4 epics, G4 uncommons. See, and then he gets down to his G3 rares, uncommons, commons, and then speed ups. Speed ups galore. He gets about 350 days worth of speed ups on just his 10 days and he gets that. Now, let's travel on over to my Discord. Because we have a few people that actually posted some videos. So, you see Soggies. And some people showed me a wall of text. Let's look at Ares. So, Ares is right here. He's a Ops 42 or 43 player, if I remember right. He told me down below somewhere down here. Uh, nah, whatever. Wait, did he say it down here? I think he's a 42 or 43 player, but let's look at his, his one. Boom, let's go look at his. So let's go back. So he gets 1,800 diodes, I get 2,100. He gets 1.7, see right here. If you look at this, so Soggy was getting 1 billion. Ares is getting more than him at Ops 50, 42, 43 player. So someone screwed up a decimal point in the game when it came down to this, even though it's a hundred dollar pack to be able to unlock it, but you still have to do your dailies as we see here. Let's go back in my game. 
Oh, I'm trying to click on Soggy's one. Oopsie. So we go here. We go back. And I should be able to see it. Let me click this first. Let's go to our milestones for our dailies. So we go to the dailies. And I can't click it, but it's supposed to be this one. If you finish this one right here, you're supposed to get 100 points to be able to apply to this treasury. So you need 700 points or grind out 700 hostiles to be able to get it to be able to see the pack to be able to pay for the pack to pay for to unlock this see what i'm doing here you had to grind 700 hostiles or do you seven dailies got it to be able to see the pack to purchase then you gotta purchase the pack and then you got to use that desealing rod to open the treasury. So it's a step process of ultimately working your butt off for seven days to be able to see a pay for pack, to be able to buy the pay for pack, to be able to open the pack, to be able to get the contents of the treasury. Don't get me wrong, the treasury is amazing, but the lockbox is a lot of money yeah the resources is amazing in it the resources is good if you could spend the hundred dollars you have that in your expense budget your budget of spending the game but it's kind of laughable when you look at it for free-to-play players dolphins people don't spend that much in money they have the budget for their game like some people can only afford a 20 dollars pack for their battle pass some people can only afford 100 bucks a month so now you're throwing another mix into the mix this should have been a way cheaper pack when it came to it this should have been three levels you said it common uncommon or sorry uncommon rare and epic 20 50 100 give that the people that choice so they can spend you got to give a little choice so this this pack has a depend or this like value over here has a dependence on your server age your how much money you spend in the game and how much um and what ops level you are. Those are the three major things that contribute to this. So rage, spent in game, and ops level. And then it's kind of one of those ones of like they're asking a lot more money out of the game when they're already kind of hurting a little bit right now because you're spent making people spend, spend, spend to do everything. Like, I mean, yeah, I know, Frank, you're about Latin and greed and all that, but Scopely needs to reel back on the greed. Yeah, they took away the tax on the treasury. Awesome. They made an awesome treasury in a sense once they took that tax away because the treasury is amazing. But lockboxes are another way to pull money out of the economy of people when right now we're kind of in a depression. We're kind of having less and less money, and it's kind of just too much right now you guys need to find other ways to put resources in the game without having to put an expense on someone's wallet some players don't even have the money to put in the game some players have a budget they can only put in the game some players have a lot of money they can put in the game but now let's look toward the lower end of the game and start appeasing our lower end clients versus our top end i know the vips matter but your lower players matter too that's your major population all right guys it is no one shall signing off Peace out. Have a wonderful day.